Before we begin, just want to say, this is my second video today. I uploaded this because my other video claimed and can't be monetized now, so I thought, why not just throw this? This was meant to come out Friday, but I thought I'd throw it today. If you want to go check out the other video I made today, please do. I'd really appreciate it. So we got some brand new screenshots of Assassin's Creed Origins, and I thought, why not take this opportunity to go over some information we got a few days ago? So let's go ahead and hop into this little video. So with regards to the information, a couple of days ago, Game director Ashraf Ismail has stated there are no plans to release Assassin's Creed Origins on the Nintendo Switch. Thank God. This is only a good thing. He stated in an interview with Gaming Bolt, We're shipping on Xbox One, Xbox One X, PS4, PS4 Pro, and PC. There are no plans to release it on the Switch. All I can say is, you made the right choice. Because by releasing on the Switch, that's like releasing the game on the Xbox 360 doesn't have enough power to run the game properly. So you're gonna have to make compromises, downgrade the game, or make a separate shitter version for the Switch. As much as people like the Switch, it's not as powerful as the Xbox or the PlayStation. It's just how it is, and especially not as the PC or the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro. So, you know, making it for the Switch would mean huge compromise for the game if you wanna make an equal version on the Switch and other consoles. So, you know, it's only a good thing they're not releasing on the Switch, because it means less restrictions when making the game. Next up, we got some brand new screenshots coming from Xbox Official Magazine and PlayStation Official Magazine and stuff like that. I'm not sure whether these are the only ones as of yet. I, I, I hope they are, and I hope we don't get any more by the time this video comes out, because then this video is going to be made redundant. But first one we have here is Bayek here with Senu looking out over some form of temple villagey type thing. Uh, which is really nice environment looks really cool. What this shows here is I mean Senu looks cool uh, And but also Bayek has a different kind of outfit from the one that he normally wears if you look at one his braces They're a silver color uh, if you look at his robes There are brown color He's got a different pattern going on in his hood, which is really really nice shows some of the customization elements in the game Obviously new materials have been used on his already established robes, but also new colors as well So it's not a different outfit. It's the same outfit just using different colors and materials, which they've said is a thing you can do in the game to customize individual outfits. So this shows some of that right here. It's looking really, really nice. Very nice colors and stuff. I think it looks great. So I can't wait to see any more of the customization features in the game to see where they take this and how much more you can really do with outfits and things within the game. The next one here is just a piece of concept art. So if you want to look at it a bit deeper, I will throw the link to these in the description. But this is just... Uh, concept art. Next up, we've got a very interesting picture of Bayek riding a horse through some flames. Looks freaking awesome. You got some scaffolding in the background. Not too much to be seen here. You got some soldiers here in the forefront looking freaking cool with their weapons and their armor and all that stuff. Obviously, Bayek's got a spear, but more importantly, if you look very, very close to his face, my boy Bayek's got a beard. I think this confirms not necessarily beard growth. But the fact you can customize facial hair. I mean, beard growth would be fucking awesome. Like, Witcher 3 style, if you don't shave your beard, it grows really long. Do that, because fucking, that just adds immersion. I fucking love that feature. But it looks to be, like, Bayek has a beard here. Either that, or he's just had an ice cream and, it, you know, like a chocolate ice cream. And it, it's, it's Egypt, so that, that shit's gonna melt, like, really quick. Because, obviously, you heat. Um, so, and he's around fire too, so I mean, that makes sense, but I think it's a bid, so, I mean, that's really cool. And the last one we've got here is Bayek riding his horse that seems to have some form of horse armor going on here. Now, I know this is concept art and not a gameplay screenshot, but regardless, it seems the horse has some form of armor on here, and he's using his bow and arrow to take out uh, two guys on chariots chasing him down, so... Can we get horse customization in this game? Fucking that'd be insane because I made a video on that and I reckon they've been watching Wishlist. So I feel like they've just been putting in everything I've talked about in Wishlist. Like, oh, horse customization? That's cool. Oh, uh, legacy missions? Yeah, let's throw that in. Lasers knows best, but let's not credit him because we don't want to be associated with a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, by the way. Everyone just thinks I am. They don't. It's a joke. Everyone thinks I'm racist, though. I'm not. A lonely life. And that's it for everything we've got so far, I hope, anyways. Um, I suppose, if anything, because 
I'm making this video two days in advance because obviously I am spending, I'm, I'm uploading like every other day instead of every day now so that I have time to work on the retrospective videos for Assassin's Creed leading up to Origins, which is going to take so long to make because there's just so much effort going into it, so much writing, so much analysis, so much gameplay collecting, editing. It's going to take me a while and so that's why I have to upload every other day. So I'm making this video on Wednesday and it should come out on Friday and hopefully we won't have gotten any more information uh, before then. We are coming up on Gamescom, so that's going to be interesting. We're definitely going to be getting some new gameplay uh, of a new build of the game, I would assume. Uh, almost uh, gave away information that I'm allowed to give away. I'm kidding! I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Anyway, uh, so that's going to be interesting seeing, uh, you know, what the game looks like. Um, in its current form, seeing if they've improved things, it's going to be really, really awesome. So, stay tuned to this channel for any upcoming information, gameplay, etc, 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 possibly some exclusive stuff, and I will see you all soon. Subscribe. Alright, bye-bye.